began with two minutes on the clock when Brighton took the lead courtesy of Julia Zigiotti Olmer's fantastic header. And it was all going so well for Brighton, but a dream start quickly turned into a nightmare when down the other end, Aston Villa equalised through a similar type of goal. This time, Lucy Staniforth rising highest to head home for Villa, who scored two goals in the space of two minutes. Kirsty Hansen at the back post getting on the end of this delicious delivery from Dali gave her side the lead. And from that point on, Villa were just cruising and going up the gears. Hansen again with a fantastic cross and Jordan Nobbs scoring her first goal in an Aston Villa shirt. An emphatic finish from her and her afternoon was going to get even better. Brighton tried to find a means back into the game. There was this hooked delivery which just rattled over the crossbar. But Aston Villa looked so clinical in the final third. And their fourth scored by the league's top goal scorer, Rachel Daly. A tap in was far too easy for the visitors. Katie Robinson had this golden opportunity to try and close the deficit, but Villa finished the half so strongly. Jordan Nobbs with this finish for her second of the game. It was cruise control at the break for the home team. The second half, though, well, that started in really interesting fashion with Aston Villa conceding this penalty. Lee Youngmin pulled back. It looked to be on the outskirts of the box, but the player was inside. And Danielle Carter, the half-time substitute, coming off of the bench to convert the penalty. It wasn't enough for Brighton, though, as Villa extended their lead further. This exquisite 